Hi, I'm Eric Lynn Ask. We're here at this year's Real-Time Web Solutions Conference in New York City. Vlad, it's good to have you. Uh, looking forward to hearing. Uh, start off by telling me, what, what is the latest uh, that we're seeing from Mira and, and specifically how it relates to some of what we're seeing here this week? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Thanks. So it's my pleasure to be here at this conference and speak. Uh, and, you know, uh, Mira, uh, for, those, for those who doesn't know us, uh, Mira provides uh, uh, software services to other companies, so doing that type of outsourcing uh, software development. And so from that perspective, recently we just uh, get engaged more and more uh, into, into some really interesting stuff related to IoT and automotive. But we still have our background related to uh, telecom. That's where we're coming from, and that's where we have experience for many, many years prior to that. And so from my perspective, it's really interesting to see uh, this recent development uh, that's going on really between the, the areas of telecom and the web-based communications, real-time communications that we have covered at this conference with technologies like um, WebRTC, uh, and also the developments coming from the IoT world, on the other hand, where we have uh, the real-time uh, voice and video streams for conversations and the like. And at the very same time, you may have uh, real-time um, uh, data and readings coming from the sensors all around and combining those together. So I think that's those are the things that are just coming and um, our company play, playing in both of those worlds, uh, telecom and, and IoT stuff, we're just really in good position you know, to, to, to help those, uh, those to come together more and more. So what does it mean for you that, that you're seeing sort of a, a um, more of a merger between those two worlds, the telecom and the IoT? What is, and what does it mean for your product portfolio? Well, for the, for the pro product portfolio, uh, portfolio of um, ourselves and really more of our clients in this case, because again, in, in our case, what we do, we really do that kind of outsourcing developments for other companies. Um, well, that, that really means that they need to come up with some good solutions uh, for the infrastructure that they provide and uh, then the frameworks and the libraries that they do that would allow that kind of integration between the media media type of streaming and more of the events uh, type of streaming that's, that is more typical for the IoT um, uh, stuff uh, these days. So that, that means that, you know, in some cases we already have a good frameworks uh, that really are able to handle the media side of it. We have some really good frameworks that are able to handle the event types of that, uh, that, that kind of um, IoT, IoT applications. But the mer merging those two uh, together in the right way is certainly something that is still missing from my perspective, uh, both on the standardization side and also in terms of the ready frameworks and developments and platforms. So this is, this is just, just one of the sweet spots where our company can help the clients, if you will. So you mentioned, mentioned standardization. Um, it certainly seems that the, uh, the delays with regards to uh, some of the standards really hasn't created a delay or, or um, stop people, companies, or, or their clients from creating these real-time solutions and coming up with ways and new ways and opportunities to communicate in real time. Yeah, well, definitely they're not. I mean, we, we really now at this uh, interesting uh, point of, uh, of, of, you know, technical evolution time and not, not, not no one really waits for the standard to be complete. Uh, and, and just goes ahead and tries that. So definitely that's, that's, that's not a showstopper here, let me put it this way. But at the very same time, talking to the enterprise client, for enterprises that's extremely important that there is something that they can rely on. And so from that perspective, depending on the type of business for the enterprises that may still be critical, that there will be something that they can rely on in terms of the interoperability, with the, with the other service providers, other enterprise types of organizations, uh, again, both in types of the media communications and the IoT communications and blending those two things together. Well, that's what's keeping the session border controller companies in business. Oh, absolutely. Well, definitely, uh, that definitely does that. Uh, it's also something that will keep all the companies just around the topic of security in business because, um, you know, we, we definitely know how important that traditionally for the telecom side and then for the IoT side, it's super important these days. It's very critical for the automotive uh, type of business and vendors and then creating the solutions that cover that well for those, those new complex mixed types of developments, you know, certainly it's something really important going forward. 
Excellent. Well, uh, Vlad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for joining me on the program today. It's uh, always good to talk.